head? The president's startlingly freakish that way. So he's coming for dinner today. She's in town. Yeah. My daughter's starting Georgetown after the first, and she's scouting off-campus housing. Guys, we're done. I'm sorry, but some of my staff has been waiting, and they haven't had a chance to bother me for a couple hours. Thanks so much. I'm going to make chili. Yes? I'll make it for everybody. Charlie! Sir? My friends, my daughter, my beer, and some chili. Yes? And you're going to be the one to, you know, cook this food? Yes, sir. Ah, Charlie, my youngest daughter, Zoe, is down from Hanover. I'm making chili tonight. It's her favorite. Uh, so you know the first lady does not want you first to First lady's in Pakistan. I can eat whatever I want. Yes, sir. I'm going to need some ingredients. Like what? Well, I'll need some chili. Don't ever listen to him. Look, Mrs. Lanningham's got it all written down somewhere. Just tell her to give it to the steward's office. Okay. And send everyone else in. Yes, sir. Thank you, Charlie. How could you possibly remember that 10 years ago there was a $188 billion debt increase off a $22 billion deficit? God, I was right. Ah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Everyone, come in. Come on in. Hey, listen up, everybody. Zoe's down from Hanover. I'm making chili for everyone tonight. Okay. Oh, oh great. chili. Great. Great. Okay. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Everybody, look down at the big seal in the middle of my carpet. Now, everybody, look back up at me. Zoe's coming down from Hanover, and I'm making chili for everyone tonight. That's great. great. That's terrific. There, you see how benevolent I can be when everybody just does what I tell them to do? Now, sit down. <laughs>